my name is Seth Pimentel, but I go as the uh, alias of CatFap. <laughs> Weird name. <laughs> uh, I'm from Joburg, born and raised in Joburg. And yeah, man, I'm an illustrator. <laughs> what really makes me tick is being meticulous, is like looking at the four small, finer details and everything, and really trying to like translate that into what I perceive. Even if it's like the smallest crack on the road or if it's, if it's the weirdest texture, that like really draws me in. Especially facial features, that's like my biggest like thing. I love drawing faces, like any kind of face. It's like every face is so different, but like they're also the same. And like you get so much like what visual reference from other people that if you continuously just keep drawing faces, by the end of the week, you'll be able to like replicate someone's face just like off the fly of your head, which I think is awesome. I went to NSA, the National School of the Arts, like when I was about 13 or grade eight, and I matriculated there. And then in my first year at university at the Open Window Institute, um, I started doing game design. And to be honest with you, I took illustration as a minor subject and I really, really enjoyed illustration. Uh, it was like more of my favorite subject. And so in my second year, I decided to actually just pick up illustration as a major and split my two majors up over the course of two years. And so that's what really got me into illustration is like actually being at open window and meeting people that illustrate as well. I've always drawn faces since I was a kid. Um, the faces change a lot though. I mean, I get inspiration from various illustrators from like Natalie Foss to Ariel Lampinen. It's, it's weird because I, I tend to take like smaller details from every other illustrator I've ever referenced and then try and translate it into my own work and that's what I'm creating now. Like right now I'm like really obsessed with like big pupils and like four eyes, whereas like three months ago I'd have just been illustrating people with like blank eyes and, and like also like chicks with bangs or like beanies and five panels. Like those are the stuff I've learned and then I just started incorporating. So my style I'd say is, it's weird. I don't know how to explain it. It's, it's I don't know, I think it's just an extension of me really. The most exciting part is collaborating with different artists. It's like, um, it's two separate worlds and they collide and they make this m amazing piece. Like right now I'm working on a collaboration with these twins from Malvo called the Mikkel Sisters. They go by Meeks. Uh, they're really, really rad. They have this Jean-Michel Basquiat style, but it's like very, very illustrated. So like we're trying to combine the two and like literally on my way, like this whole weekend, I've been like plotting out how it's going to work out and like, how like the chick's gonna be framed and it's, it's, it's just weird, man. So for me, the best part is working with other artists. Like, yeah, um, you know, commissions are rad. They fun, they pay, but they're also kind of shitty because you, you kind of feel like you're closed in, you're boxed in. Whereas if it's a collaboration with another artist, it's like you both are just adding more and more that you could ever do. And you learn from that artist and vice versa, you know? So that's what I love about it. My words of wisdom for any creative is really stick to your guns and just do yourself really because that's what really, a lot of young people really want to try and be like other celebrities and other musicians or other artists and that's not the best thing. I mean, if you enjoy like literally throwing paint on a floor, do that dude because in literally 12 months of you doing that, you're going to find something that's going to provoke you and you're going to carry on doing it. So just be yourself, stick to yourself and that's the most important thing really is your own identity and sticking to your guns really. Sorry, that's my phone. Let me just take this call quickly. Hello? Hey, yeah, no, I'm just finishing off an interview. I just had to come finish that piece off and I'm, I'll see you in like literally like two minutes. I'm um, at the JMB Hive. It's like up the road. Okay, cool. I'll call you back now, Jane Beehive. It's just up the road from, oh, it's on Juta Street. Okay, cool. Okay, cool. All right, cheers.